tonight. It'd be a new name or one of the same. 21 cars strong as they head underneath the Napa Auto Care Center signs. Lights off from Wheeland Engineering. One more Friday night event after this. But tonight is all eyes are on our field ready to do battle. What a contrast we have in the front row. Mike Christopher in his rookie season and a driver who started in the SK Modifieds, the first year of their existence in 1982, Dan Avery. We are ready to turn them loose. They fire him up off turn number four and Mike Christopher is up on the wheel as uh, Joey Cipriano tries to battle back. Look at Dan Avery. He comes back to life. Three wide down the back straight away. Joey Cipriano to the bottom. And they continue to rumble three wide again, Matt, as they come off turn four. Evil Knievel lives. First Cipriano pulled off the move. And now Avery survives that three wide scenario. He moves into second. And third is a battle between Jarvis and Mike Christopher. Look at Ryan Priest. He's now moved to the front of the class. Owen changes his line, changes his strategy. Off the turn. Here comes Jarvis to the inside. Avery to the outside. Here comes Priest. High, wide, and handsome. He makes his presence known. Here comes Jarvis to the bottom. Avery stuck in the middle down the back straightaway. And Priest showed in a qualifying race he can make things happen on the outside he gets by Jarvis. Now he is attacking Avery. This is a duel for second place, and it's won by Priest Lightning, Ryan Priest. No way about it. No question about it. Priest has now worked his way into second. Off the turn, Avery guards the spot. Here comes Jarvis. Here comes Owen. And here comes Keith Rocco. Down the back straightaway. McDermott way off the pace with car number five. Back up front. Third is the hot spot of the racetrack, and it is now a battle between Jervis and Avery, and Jervis picks up the spot. And Todd Owen is right there. Caution. Four. And we have Cam McDermott's car stamped stranded in turn number three. So wow. that is going to be... For the Situate uh, Rhode Island uh, driver. So again, Woody Pitcat returns to the competition. And in a mysterious fashion, Fogg has rolled over one and two and has come into the arena center stage. So four of 40 laps will create a whirlwind on the racetrack that will keep that fog away. Here they come. And Ryan Priest with a little more getty up. And Priest becomes the third leader of the event. Keith Rocco running like days of old on the outside. And there comes Rowan Pennick as Pennick is coming forward with Todd Owen and Ronnie Williams. Battle is for third, Matt, and look at Keith Rocco. We haven't seen him this strong in quite some time. And when Rocco can run the outside, you know he is at his best, and he has just done that to Trouble. put away Jarvis, a problem in the middle of the turn. It is the Sean Foster machine. It looks like the Bulls race car. I think Bulls' nose is into the barrier. So he is still a factor. As the front row being made up right now, of Ryan Priest and Joey Cipriano. Cipriano looking for his first ever SK Modified win, and he has a pretty good shot to nail it down tonight. Sure does. Cleanup continues very quickly. The field is doubled up. The mystery of the fog is moving in, and five of 40 are complete. Like a Sherlock Holmes novel, we are about to write another chapter in the book. And Joey Cipriano says elementary. Ryan Priest trying to crank it up and take the lead, but it is Priest to move in front and trouble for Jarvis. Todd Owen tries to squeak by. Dan Avery gets the ripple effect 
and we've got them scattering down the back straightaway as Jervis's car suddenly came to almost a screeching halt. Back up front, there's no holding down what's happening there because it is a wild run for Keith Rocco to move into second, Cipriano in third, and you called it best, Rowan Pennick is also coming forward. And now Ronnie Williams is trying to move underneath the 99 car as they boogie into the first corner. And it is Williams with inside leverage over Pinnock. But Pinnock right now is just too powerful and he holds on to fourth place. There's no question about it. Williams backs out of it just momentarily and kind of lets him go. How many times this season have we seen Ryan Priest this strong early in the event, Matt? And he is very strong tonight. Fastest car in the racetrack. 19.659 last time by. But still, here comes Cipriano. He tries to move underneath Keith Rocco. And look at Ronnie Williams. I told you, he just backed out of it, and now he's starting to go again. He got his momentum back, so he is tormenting the back bumper of the Rowan Pennant car. That is a fight for fourth and fifth. Ted Christopher in sixth, looking to finish on the podium for the second straight week. But the action is for second, where Rocco is doing everything he can to keep Joey Cipriano behind him. There's no doubt about it. Joey Cipriano is so long overdue for a victory here at Stafford. That's just an understatement, to say the least. Meanwhile, Pennick is still there in the fourth spot. Williams is in five. Ted Christopher is up to the sixth position. And here comes the number 70. We haven't talked about Gallo at all, Matt. And he is starting to get comfortable. And he is right behind Ted Christopher. So Matt Gallo from Kensington, Connecticut. Moving in. Battle for the number two spot is once again the pressure is put on by Cipriano. And Rocco is able to deal with it. And I figured out where the smoke is coming from. That isn't fog, Ben. That is a smoke coming from the number six car. You are right about that. He is a rocket at the front of this field. Meanwhile, Williams continues to run in the tire tracks of Rowan Pennick. Cipriano right there in front of him. And then it's Keith Rocco. Four cars contending for second. 13 of 40 laps now complete. And if a driver makes a mistake, they can lose about four positions. Here comes Cipriano. A little love tap to the back bumper of Keith Rocco. You cannot rattle the cage of Keith Rocco. He continues to be pressured heavily. Now look at Williams. Williams to the outside of Rowan Pennick. Pennick. Back in command of the fourth spot. Williams is working him over big time. Just like Gallo is working over Teddy Christopher. Stafford's all-time winning his driver. 15 of 40 now complete. He is a feel-good story, Matt Gallo. First time out at Stafford this season. And he is putting the pressure on Ted Christopher. Behind those drivers is Mike Christopher. So it is Gallo in the middle of a Christopher burger. It certainly is, and that is just one of many battles. Now Gallo takes a peek at the inside, but Christopher suddenly closes the door. Priest is still the shining star up front. Quicker lap last time, 19 3 4 5. That is an amazing lap for an SK car. Trying to make an amazing move is Ronnie Williams as he almost got underneath Pennick. And Pennick was able to have the veto power. He'll try again, but right now it's Cipriano who tries to move down underneath Keith Rocco to try to take over second. It doesn't happen there. Meanwhile, Pennick can feel the heat being applied by Williams. 18 laps now complete, two laps shy of the halfway marker. Jones off the pace, car 39. And look at Cipriano continuing to put the heat on the back bumper of Keith Rocco as he is all over the bumper like Teflon on a frying pan. But the driver who is doing the sizzling is Keith Rocco. And now lo losing a little momentum was Ronnie Williams, but it doesn't take him long to get it back. It certainly does not, and he is there as a factor. Cross flags in the air. Half of the event is all but history as they cross the line 20 laps in. Priest is still in command, leader of the pack. But the hot spot of the racetrack is second, and Rocco has got his hands full as Cipriano looking for some racing room. Now Michael Christopher further back, but back up to second 
we've got four cars and a block trying to move into the runner-up spot and Joey Cipriano was almost there as he makes the evil Knievel move underneath Keith Rocco dead even the 84 and the 88 as they climb into turn number four it is Cipriano trying to get to the line and he has second over Rocco trouble we've got a melee occurred between three and four oh and it is so occurring and it looks like that something let go on one of the cars. Heartbreaker for them. That was a contender in the top four in the point standings going into tonight's events. So, so let's get mis back. Mysterious fog in turn number two. It looks like Mockingbird Lane Speedway here is uh, kind of eerie, but uh, Ryan Priest has been able to handle the situation. But now he is going to have to figure out a way to hold off Keith Rocco, a very hungry Keith Rocco, on this double file restart. And one thing that is certain, that wrist that has bothered Keith Rocco for a lot of the summer that he injured at Thompson, it is healthy and his driving is really improved. He is uh, almost like the Keith Rocco we used to know, and he has demonstrated that tonight. He sure has, Ryan Priest. On the inside of that front row, Cipriano making up the second row with Ronnie Williams, then Burnt, Pitcat, and John Gates quickly with Mike Christopher. We're about to go back to green. Mike, that was a heck of a hit there. First of all, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Just a little screwed. Uh, what happened out there? Uh, Teddy blew a motor. It's unfortunate, but, you know, I got into the oil and, uh, you know, just held on from there. Saw the wall coming and let go of the wheel, but... Uh, it's pretty much destroyed. I'd say we won't be back next week or the week after. So, uh, you know, I just have to thank all my crew guys so much. They work so hard. Uh, Mohawk Northeast, uh, Tick Free Organic Tick Control, Green Construction Management, my dad, my uncle, you know, everyone that works out in the car. Tough break. Mike Christopher out for the night. Heartbreaker for a young talent that you'll be hearing a lot about in years to come. There's no question about that. Here we go. Showtime, 21 of 40. Place your bets now. The high stakes game of SK Racing is green and headed to turn one. And Priest trying to run away from Keith Rocco. Rocco making a lunge coming off the second corner. Down the back straightaway, Williams moves into the hunt as Rocco had it by a chrome horn. Gave it back. Priest will bring him back to the line as the leader. And now Joey Cipriano has the inside lane challenging Priest. Now he's challenging Rocco. And Rocco is able to rumba his way around Priest. Let's see if he can complete the move. Meanwhile, it appears that Burnt, along with Woody Pitcat, is coming to the front as well. Burrell has become a factor, and Panic doesn't seem quite as strong as he was before they pitted. Well, Woody Pitcat has made multiple pit stops tonight but he is hanging tough in sixth place. And Ryan Priest has cleared the 88 of Keith Rocco. And now Rocco has to worry about the double file battle behind him between Ronnie Williams and Joey Cipriano. There's no question about it. Woody Pitcat's got a card that is working now, and it now continues to work its way and march to the front of the field. Same can be said about Williams. Him and Cipriano are side by side. Blockbuster style racing off turn number four. And Williams almost had the third spot. And then suddenly it disappeared. And Gorilla has moved in front of Roland Pinnock. That is a little deeper in the pack in a fight for seventh. Here comes Cipriano swooping underneath Ronnie Williams. Let's see if he can maintain the edge. He can't. And Williams takes away the spot. There's no question about it. The battle is for the fourth position now. As Woody Pitcat tried everything to get around Cipriano. Here comes Williams. Crossover. The same trick that Rocco taught Williams. Williams just taught Rocco back. As he picks up second. And now sets his sights on Jeff Brees. I mean, Ryan Brees, the leader of the pack. And Cipriano is still a factor, but Woody Pitcat, whatever they did on the pit stop, must have uh, almost won him the Nobel Prize because he is very powerful. Eric Burke behind him, and continuing to be the ringleader of the circus is Ryan Priest. Clock is ticking, time is starting to unwind. All of a sudden, here comes Pitcat. 
working magic. Cipriano goes high, goes low, gathers it back, and can't pick up the spot. Cipriano continues to apply the pressure. The Rocco is priest is gone. That's the battle of the field. third and fourth between Rocco and Cipriano. And Woody Pitcat doing everything he can to hold off Eric Burnt. They come back off turn number four to the stripe. And it's still Rocco. Now Burnt starts to work over Woody Pitcat. Good battle there. And Ryan Freese has left the rest of the field in a fog. But look at Ronnie Williams. We have seen him make great comebacks before. So with nine to go, Ronnie Williams has a realistic shot of derailing Ryan Priest. Look at Woody Pitcat. He really went hard into turn number one, almost had Cipriano, then was forced to back out of it as the car went into a four-wheel drift. Here comes Pitcat again as he is looking for elbow room underneath Cipriano. Can't get enough yet. Right behind him is Burke and Pennick. They continue to rumble. Stepping out of the line, this time is Burnt as he continues to apply pressure to Pitcat. 33 laps of 40. Brees hasn't had much luck in recent weeks. But tonight, he's looking to change all of that in this SK feature event. And Rowan Pennick, the last pit stop, was designed to make him a contender. And that car doesn't seem to be as strong as it was early in the event back. No, he was able to get by Burrell, but he is unable to get by Eric Burt. And all by his lonesome on Easy Street is Ryan Priest. Burt almost took a shot at Pitcat, and it almost landed on target. Five laps to go for Priest. Counting down, final five. Priest way out in front. Williams in the comfort zone in second. Cipriano and Keith Rocco have been duking it out. And Cipriano, bold shot to the inside. Third position. Joey Cipriano is on the podium. Forcing Kid Rock back to the fourth spot. And Woody Pitcat tries to shake off Eric Burnt with four laps remaining. But the parade at the front continues with Ryan Priest in control. Ryan Priest went back to back on July 10th and July 17th. One of those races was worth $13,000. Big payday. But he has been shut out of the winner's circle ever since. He is less than, or just about two laps away, and Ronnie Williams has one hope to pray for a caution flag. There is less than one mile left in the competition, but that battle between Pitcat and Keith Rocco is still strong. That is the battle for the fourth spot. Pitcat continues to work him over. This time off turn number four, the white flag is out. One lap to go for Ryan Priest. And this could be coronation time for Priest Lightning. There is fog, but there is also lightning in the backstretch area. Here comes Ryan Priest, ready to put the padlock on a big win. Off the turn. Back to the strike they come. Double checkers are in the air. Priest will take down the impressive victory. Williams will finish in second. Cipriano for third. Woody Pitcap pulls off.